Hello! Welcome to the Bible Test Review video. So, as you know, this Bible Test for today, you will be taking through Google Forms, which the link is available through the email I sent to your parents in our Google Classroom and in our class website. So there are three ways you can access the link. And as I mentioned also on Friday's Zoom session, the test will be on the Bible studies that we did in the week of March 2. So I believe that was about two weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so the friendships, fear, devotional time, technology, and the Friday one was separate, understanding and supporting our parents. That is all we're going to have to review for today's test. So I put together a short PPT of the key points that we're going to be reviewing. And for the test, the materials you will need are your Bible. The test will ask you questions from the Bible and the Bible study topics that I just showed you here. Great. So there were five topics we talked about. We'll go over them, just the main points for friendships. Um, we looked at the Bible verses and the Bible told us that a good friend loves their friends and it's important to love your friend because God loved us first and we need to thank God for the, our friends and pray for them. Those were the key points for friendships. For fear, we basically talked about the coronavirus as well because it is a time of fear, but it's important to remember that God is the most powerful being of all and he is with us even during the most difficult times and if we are feeling scared what's the one number one thing we should do is pray and ask for help just simply ask and it's important to remember that he will deliver us which means to save us he will deliver he will deliver us from all of these difficult times including the coronavirus season so that was the main takeaway for our Bible study about fear. The next Bible study topic we talked about was QT, devotional time, Bible study itself. So the main points we took away from this Bible study is we kind of learned about the ways that Jesus prayed. So let's take a look now. So we talked about when he prayed. He prayed early in the morning. Where should we pray? So it's important for us to pray in a quiet place where we can really concentrate in talking with God, right? And the reason we should have devotional time daily is because the Bible is like a light to our path. So if you think about a flashlight and if we are just walking in the dark in a cave, the Bible is like the flashlight. It gives us, it tells us where to go. Yeah, so those are the main points for devotional time. And then we talked about technology, which personally was my favorite Bible study, especially nowadays, technology is everywhere. We basically talked about how it's important to prioritize, which means it's important to remember that spending time with God should be and is more important than using technology. So, you know, there are so many websites now, even Zoom and YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of these sites, so many things to do and look at. And Game Boys, Nintendo DS, all that. It's important that God is more important. Do not forget it. And of course, the second thing is to stay away from evil things. That's what the Bible tells us. And our last Bible study, we talked about building a good relationship with our parents, developing, developing a healthy relationship with our parents. If you remember, the Bible tells us a couple of principles regarding our relationship with parents. It's important to support them, help carry their burdens, meaning to help out with some of their responsibilities, whether that's washing the dishes for them, doing the laundry, folding the laundry, going grocery shopping, vacuuming, kind of sharing all of those tasks and jobs that parents do. And the Bible reminds us how important it is to pray for our parents, to listen to our parents the first time, and try to be mature. Try to act, try to act like an adult 
but in a mature way. Like think about how they would feel. Think about things in their perspective. Yeah. So those were the main points that we talked about. And these are going to be the main points that you will need to know to successfully complete today's Bible test. And if there are a couple things that I might not have mentioned in the video, remember this is an open book test. All of the information that you need to know for the test are in this video, in the Bible studies, and the Bible. Okay, so there are no trick questions. I know you can do it. So um, yeah, that's it. Let's actually end with a prayer. So hands together, eyes closed. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us another great week and thank you for giving us a warm weather and please continue to um, encourage us and to protect us from the coronavirus and please help us always always remember that you are in control you are the most powerful there is no one or nothing no virus that is more powerful than you and that you will deliver us from all times of trouble and please be with our fifth graders today as they take their tests this week please help them to remember everything they learned and to feel calm and confident when taking these tests in jesus name we pray amen all right good luck and as always if you have questions you can email me you can contact me through the youtube comments i'm always available bye